What's going on guys? Welcome back to Addicting. This is ASAS Pixel Studio with another retouching tutorial in Photoshop. Okay, so today is something different. Okay, I'm going to show you just the workflow to get the pro like edit for your images. So stay tuned for this is going to be helpful for both the beginner, intermediate, and maybe some other little tips that can be a little bit of advantage when you are addicting okay so let's get started but before that please kindly like share subscribe if you're new to the channel so let's get started uh, I like to remove the tint or what I call balance the color profile first so for me to do that it's either I use my camera roll filter or I use my solid color adjustment so let's grab the solid color adjustment layer and it's okay turn it off double click yeah let's look for where it's supposed to be white in this case this side so i'm gonna click that i don't know what color is that but i just feel that would do so let's zoom out turn it back on change it to divide okay so we have a very saturated image now so let's see double click let's turn it off and let's try another one let's double click on the hand and it's okay and turn it back on and there we go okay I think I like this one better than the first one so we have this and this no difference in color just brighten it up okay so but I want to retain the, the, the color of the face so I'm gonna do something by something new not new what I usually do grab your saturation clip it to the layer below and then you're going to either decrease or take this when I take it up it goes out the saturation when I take it back it brings back the saturation so it affects only the lightness so let's take it back a little to bring more of the colors in something like this so I'm just affecting the lightness of the image so if you still want to take it backwards and you know get the real so something like this I think you're free so this should be fine and let's see if we can bring this down a little to brighten it up so this should be fine all right so now we have it like this if it's too bright of which you can see it right here it's too bright you can decrease it yeah you can decrease it up a little bit so i guess this side should be okay now once we get this let's see if the color of the skin is different and i'm going to group these two together which is the first step second one is to check uh let's check if the colors are different so i'm just going to grab the and two and let's pick uh let's pick this place increase you so we have different color some places are red and some places are blue some places are green and let's see why it's green it's because this place appear red and here yeah, some places appear yellow so but this place look less saturated okay so we're going to balance that all those and especially this place that looks less saturated okay so i'm going to turn it back on and now let's find a sweet spot for it and uh, the best thing to do is to get the image yeah so something like this i feel like if i balance this it's going to take it's going to be this if i balance the the greens now it's going to look like the skin tones okay so let's make this zero and then gently increase let's zoom out gently increase the U so not too much just somewhere around there and let's see before and then after before and then after so this looks too much just a bit before and then after all right so now I'm gonna close it I'm gonna grab the brush to let's let me I decrease the flow before let me increase it up I'm gonna erase it make the foreground color black and erase it from the lips like this and let's turn it off and see so i'm going to erase it from the makeup and the highs and this side as well okay so now that we have that uh let's work on the saturation so i'm going to grab another one you sorry you and saturation and do that let's grab you and saturation go to select color range and now I'm going to select where I know it's less saturated, somewhere like this. So we have there, we have here, hold on, shift and select this side. Okay, so now increase the fuzziness a bit. 
and it's okay so it's going to create a max for that UN saturation and this time around we can increase the saturation so check what happens as we increase saturation it increases the the saturation of the skin you can just spot the difference look at before and then after before and then after i guess you can see the changes now this is for color correction and i'm going to grab these two group it together and next is to work on the spot before doing moving to the next level for that i'm going to grab the black and white adjustment layer black and white adjustment layer yeah so now let's take this backwards and take this backwards now we can zoom in and see the spots we have so we have less less lesser spots i'm just going to click on the layer grab the patch healing part two and i'm just going to draw and drag draw and drag and i'm going to do that for most of somewhere like this draw and drag drag to the right part okay so i'm going to do this yeah i guess just a little not everything so this one drag this one drag this one drag and i guess we're good so why am i doing this i'm doing this because i want my frequency separation to be easy and when i do my frequency separation it won't be different it won't have different color and i won't waste my time creating new skin textures of those you can create new skin texture artificial texture okay but um just want to make my workflow easy so something like this i'm just going to drag it forward and drag this backward this type of hole drag it like this and also this one you can do almost anything and if not you can do that in frequency separation this that i'm doing right here right now it's just going to make the photo look unnatural okay so i've done that and i'm going to remove the black and white adjustment and there we go so let's delete the black and white because we've adjusted that and now we can do our frequency separation but before that create a stem visible layer control shift or it e and then frequency separation control j twice name this color hit enter name this texture so we're separating the texture and the color layer so we can work on them independently turn up the texture layer select the color layer go to filter blur gaussian blur and then yeah you need to choose the right blur value so the more you blow, the more the texture, the lesser you blow, the less the texture. So I guess we need to see. Now the moment you start seeing the highlight going, you need to stop there. So somewhere around here. Let's see. Let's go back again. So somewhere around here. 5.8. It's okay. And now turn this back on and then go to image apply image and under the layer choose color subtract blending mode to just take the settings and it's okay and then go to linear light as your blending mode i'm going to group these two together these are frequency separation select the color layer and grab the mixer to brush and start blending so i'm going to blend and then i'm going to come back Right, so this is my frequency separation it took me like eight minutes but you can you know do more i just really don't want the video to be lap to be longer so you can see before i removed all this air even to the eye you can see i removed all those things and even to the lips you can see oh she up before and after okay so we need to remove this because it feels like she's injured on the lips so I'm going to grab this texture and grab this one, hold on art, and let's copy from this side and paste it on it. So we have that and you know, give it a little bit more softening. We could also, you know, soften this place as you wish. Okay, so now we've softened the lips and there we go. So we have before and after. All right, so that's that for the frequency separation. I'm going to create a stem basically layer control shift on e take it above the group and there's a second um the third step or let's say the fourth step okay so now we need to work on the eyes but before that let's go work on the face so go to liquefy so under the liquefy tool i'm going to take the 
bloat too and i'm gonna bring out this cheek so just take it make it bigger and hold it down it's gonna bring out the cheek take the pocket too and let's create some definition on this side so i'm just tapping and i don't know if you can see you can see what's happening to the image let me show you so if you hold it too much you can see it's making uh mouth smaller so i'm going to undo that and i'm going to do it just a little to bring it down okay it's just creating more definition and i love doing this a lot you can even do it somewhere here and it's just smoothing things up grab the face tool and for the nose i'm going to bring it slightly in and for these eyes this one is open and this is not too open so i'm going to drag it up a bit and now it's the same okay so those little little details actually matters a lot and i'm gonna bring this down a bit and for the jaw let's take it slightly in okay so that should be fine i'm gonna grab the what's it called forward wrap tool and let's shift the nose a little bit to the right so like yeah so something like this and now it looks the way i want it so before and then after Okay, so I'm gonna hit OK after that, and it's gonna make that little adjustment. Okay, so after that, after that, we need to whiten the highs. I'm gonna grab the, um, let's start with the solid color adjustment, and it's OK. And I'm gonna invert Control I, grab the brush tool, paint over the highs, and it depends. If you wanna give it cut eyes, you can do that so uh i guess something is wrong oh yes grab the black and white and let's do it again so i'm gonna do it like this one and do this two okay so now that we have this the tit is not showing so we're gonna leave it like that change it to divide blam solve the problem right yes just one we don't even need the other uh other um, two so that's just solve the problem I'm gonna leave it like that it's not too much it's just the right one needed okay so after that let's do some dodging and burning so I'm gonna grab the curve and let's quickly you know take it up and double click to open it up I'm gonna remove it from the darker side so let's bring it down from the darker side like this and hold on out and fish it out so something like this quickly and i'm going to do opposite hold on curve bring it down just like that and double click i'm going to remove it from the brighter side opposite of that hold this hold 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 yeah so hold on out and remove amazing right yes very amazing Okay, but some places are dark, very dark, I mean very dark. So you can just take it up, open it up and remove it from the dark side. Just look at what I'm doing, okay? So I'm taking it away from the dark side and that should do. And now you can decrease your opacity. It's there, but you won't notice, so it's just there. And sometimes you can remove it from the air, I feel. We should remove it from the air grab the brush to make it select the mask make it bigger and make sure foreground color is black by hitting x and i'm gonna remove it from this side okay so yeah we go with it grab ctrl shift and e to create a stand visible layer let's go to the last part which is the camera roll filter and under the camera roll filter i'm going to basic tab and let's increase the highlight so take it up to brighten it up Let's take up the white too and how about the shadows i'm going to brighten it up take down the blacks something like this increase the texture amazing all right so close this and go to the curve i'm going to create an next curve take this up and take the shadows the darks the dark take this backward take this backward and backward okay so this is too much so just minus three should be fine so let's see yeah 
that's amazing okay so close it go to the color mixer i'm going to go to the u first just because of the leaves red i'm going to take it backwards and you can see go to the saturation increase the saturation of that go back to the u go to the orange let's see should we make it yellow should we make it red so it depends on what you want so sometimes i'm going to leave it at minus one i guess my i guess this one just makes sense plus one and i'm going to increase yeah so this is good and yellow take it up i'm going to increase the green just because i see some green in the highs and the blues and also i guess some magenta and the rest okay so that's for that we can go ahead and give some brightness to the skin all right so not too much just like just two okay so sometimes i use the geometry tool but not in this case let's see what the calibration can transform the image to so taking it back should be fine so minus three uh, let's see the blues okay so that should be good let's see for the greens minus of minus of plus let's leave it at plus two so not much difference and i can click ok and there we go so from here to here and you can see from here to here okay so if you want to do some other color grading you can do that and i'm going to stop right here so thank you guys for watching uh let's do some um before and after so i'm going to go from here to this side and then turn it off turn 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 so at this six step with what was what we carried out so before and then after before and then after so thank you guys for watching see you in our next video